Hello everyone, this is Mohsin Pathan from Fundrich Tool and today I am going to show you how can you upload your own database to Fundrich from Excel file or tab delimited text file. On the left side of this tool there is a section called Manage Database. Here you can select whether you want to use Fundrich database or Uniprot database downloaded from Uniprot website or custom database where you have to upload your own file. Right now Fundrich database is selected. If you want to use your own database you have to change it to custom database. To do that you have to click manage and then click on change then click on custom database and then click confirm and this will remove all the existing data sets. Now I have clicked yes. Now custom database is selected. To upload your file as custom database you have to click configure custom. At first you have to upload entire genome or proteome list. I am going to upload this file. This file has two columns. One is entrance gene ID, another is gene symbol. But you can upload a list of gene, protein, lipid or anything. I am closing this file. In Fundrich, I am going to upload this file. Here you have to select which column contains your primary identifier. In this example, this is column 1. Optionally, you can select another column for secondary identifier. I am selecting column 2, which is gene symbol. My file has column header, so I have to check this checkbox, skip first row then click read and apply. So we can see a list of almost 20,000 genes has been entered. After uploading entire gene or protein list you have to upload annotation database. Because I am showing you the file I am going to upload. This excel file has three columns. The first column is the entrance gene ID. The second column is molecular function. And the third column is biological process. Notice that this particular cell has two biological process separated by semicolon. If in your file you have more than one biological process or molecular function or any other annotation in the same cell, they must be separated by semicolon. Now I am going to upload that file. To do that I am clicking add database then selecting molecular function then selecting file then clicking load. This will give an option to select column for gene or protein. In this case column 1 is our gene. Then you have to select which column contains molecular function. For this example, column 2 is our molecular function. So I am selecting column 2 and clicking read and apply. So now we have almost 19,000 entries in that file and total 224 molecular functions. I can add biological process from the same file. To do that, I have to click add database, select biological process. Open the same file, click load, but now I am going to select gene or protein column, column 1, biological process is column 3 instead of column 2, then read and apply. So now you can see biological process database has been uploaded, ok, close. After uploading the database, now you can perform analysis on a data set. You can upload a data set by clicking add data set, then giving a name for the data set, for example data set 1, 
and upload a file containing either entrance gene ID or gene symbol because we used gene ID and gene symbol as identifier and then click apply now to perform enrichment analysis you have to click on chart this will show you the graph for molecular function and we can also find the chart for biological process on the next tab if you want to generate interaction diagram for this data set you have to go to interaction tab and click on interaction but I did not upload any database for interaction that's why it is not coming to upload interaction database you have to go to manage then configure custom then add database then database type select interaction and upload a file containing interaction database then click load in this file you can see there are three columns column 1 and column 2 are entries gene id so one gene from column 1 has interaction with corresponding gene from column 2 so first gene protein here i have to select column 1 second gene or protein i have to select column 2 and then click read and apply so now you can see interaction database is successfully loaded there are total 84000 rows in this database now i am clicking ok and close as the interaction database is already loaded now you can click on the interaction button and get the interaction diagram If you want to make any change in your custom database, you have to go to Manage, Configure Custom. Now you can remove either molecular function or biological process or interaction database. If you remove the entire gene or protein list, then all other databases will also be removed. Now your custom database is completely clear and you can upload it again. That's all for today's session. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.